What is up, boyos? Hello, boyos. <laughs> this is the Loner Gamecast, where we discuss all things video games. My name is Jake. This is Nick over here. This is oh oh yeah, I guess I'm over there. Hi, Nick. This is Michael Ian Black, very famous, speaking to you today from the wilds of Connecticut. David wanted me to reach out to you and just acknowledge that we look alike, sound alike, um, which leads me to conclude that you're a very handsome young man, Nick. 26 years old of prime grade A beef. Yeah, you're you're over here for me. I'm sure. Okay. It doesn't matter. No, you're you're up here for me. But <laughs> oh, that's all right. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this week we're going to be talking about the X Cox. X Cox. The X, -cox. X as I like to call it, the X Sex, the Xbox mm. Series X, the Xbox Game X -X. Showcase, everything Xbox, and I, I, we really only have one other piece of news besides that. Um, so last week you guys asked, or we asked. Wow. Jesus, my brain. Jesus, uh, your brain. <laughs> last week's question uh, was, uh, what will happen at the Xbox event? And we have the answers. This is what you guys said. Boom, on the screen now. Um, oh, I hope so this time. Yeah, I forgot last week. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is what you guys said. Turns out you guys are wrong. Um, they actually All did of you. Say, Yeah, they yeah. did. They did actually say some stuff, and we have the answers. Like I said last week, we have the answers. Uh, we'll get into we, that later, though. Uh, yeah. What have you been playing, Nick? Well, I've been playing some Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, how you liking that? Uh, I like that a lot. I, I just got off of it, actually. Just beat a couple missions, unlocked some new shit. Yeah, I really... some Mongols, and, uh, you know, just just having a gay old time. Yeah. Slicing dudes up and taking sweet photos and stuff like that. I've also... Uh, somehow, ha talked you into Monster Hunter. Yeah. Somehow, I've been playing Monster Hunter. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've been pulling you through that story because, oof, boy, that story is just we hunt monsters. Yeah, that's what we do. It's a, and then, uh, what is Rogue Company? I've never heard Rogue of this. Company. You did hear about this. The last thing that um, the the Nintendo Direct, the last Nintendo Direct showed off Rogue Company, and it's like, hey, our beta is open. Mm, so I got right. into the beta for free via uh, friend code and played a couple of matches. Uh, that game's broken. Oh, nice! It's, it's very much it's very much a beta. It is beta. It's very it's very uh, early. It's very early. It has some really cool potential for small fight like Overwatch esque. CSGO kind of stuff going on. So it could be good a year down the road. I don't don't waste your fifteen dollars to get into it unless you get it for free somehow, like I did. Um yeah. it's fine though. Yeah. Well, well I've been playing Ghost of Tsushima and uh I like it. I want to play more of it. I'm not very far. Uh last night I put in about four hours. So I'm probably like five, six hours in. Um but I do have some gripes with it, though. I mean, like, the game is sort of jank. Um, it's really pretty. But, like, the camera is just so fucked in that game. Like you'll, in, in tight corridors, yeah. Even not. Like, sometimes your camera will just, like, go behind a tree and you just can't see what's going mm -hmm. on. And, like, it doesn't autocorrect. And, like, yeah, I don't know. And it tries to do like cinematic camera randomly and then that it just like gets really close to you and you're like, I wish it just like didn't do didn't. that. <laughs> so yeah. I, I don't like that. I don't I don't really like the archer guys. Like the archers are too accurate and like yeah, I don't know. It's really annoying. <laughs> you just have to listen to the like the like and then you have to dodge out of the way. What I end up doing is I just run away from everyone and then make sure that they're following me and then just go kill the archers and then just fight everyone else. Really? Yeah. Cause, that's, cause I don't think you're supposed to play like that, but that's how I've been playing. Well, when you play, when you said that, it's like, I, what I do is I usually hear like, oh, and I'm like, Oh, there's an archer. I got to dodge this arrow. And then I'll, I'll just stop the fight with whoever I'm fighting and try to run after an archer. Yeah. And 
because it only takes like two hits to kill him. Yeah. So you get to the archer, kill him, and then you you go back to the fight with whoever you were fighting with. So it is kind of a a pain, I there suppose. Was, there was one where I was off a ledge. I had to jump off a ledge to kill him. So I like jumped off the ledge with my sword. And uh, as I was falling, he shot me and I like <laughs> stuttered. And then as I was falling, like still falling towards him, he shot me again. And I just like, and he just kept shooting me. And I was just like, Nice. Yeah, it was. Yeah, the game is. Did you save it? I didn't save that clip. You should have saved it. I've got some other clips. I'll be. I'll be sharing them on uh, my Twitter. Uh, yeah, yeah. Emergency Pizza underscore. Check that out. Also, uh, uh, Dirt Dirt Four. We've been playing a lot of Dirt Four too. Yeah, Dirt Four is a good time. Always a good dirt time. Four. Monster dirt Hunter. Rally, dirt Rally Two. Sorry. Monster know, Hunter is fun. I guess. I I don't know. I'm not very far. I can't. I don't know. The combat's wonky. <laughs> it is wonky. It is wonky. It's very wonky. It's kind of um, pretty though. It's kind of a pretty game. Uh, for for it being like three years old, yeah, it's not too bad. It's and fun with the boys. And... I couldn't imagine playing alone, but I probably will tomorrow. Just to you think get, so? Get through shit. If no one's on, I'll probably play it alone. But uh, I'll be on. All right. I'm on all day, every day. Well, yeah. let's talk xbox shall we do it let's do it there was a big thing that happened you may have heard about it it's the uh xbox game showcase that was what was it tuesday thursday it was last thursday, thursday. Yeah. and uh, 9 a.m <laughs> at nine our time um it's, it's a little early it's a yeah a little early it's fine though so i i actually watched it twice the first time i watched it i was underwhelmed by it but like actually the second time i watched it i think i think it did it it did enough, I think. Uh, it just didn't have like the razzle dazzle that you want, but like it, it did enough, and I think it, it actually got me. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll get into the hot takes at the end, I guess. But like, okay, just uh, like surface level, like I think I think the showcase was decent. It wasn't. It didn't blow my mind or anything, but I do think it it was like, hmm, I kind of want to fuck with Game Pass. That's. <laughs> really where yeah. i was at it was like yeah that's one of the only things that was really just stood out in this this whole conference they didn't really nothing else really stood out it was like why even have it you know i feel like you <laughs> could have put all of these trailers on youtube just yeah I one day it, at a time and it would have been fine but like it's they had to, and they and they showed a couple things that were worth showing off. Uh, a couple of things. Let's let's just let's break it down one by one, shall we? Yeah. Um, so it started with a nice looking Halo trailer. I thought the trailer looked really nice, and then it went into an, uh, the Halo Infinite demo, right? And everyone's right, had the, the, the gameplay demo, yeah. Yeah, I thought the trailer looked really nice. It was showing off like really nice particle effects and like really just. Yeah, a typical Halo fashion. The trailer's amazing. Halo always has amazing trailers. Uh, the demo, it seems like everyone has like their hot takes about it, about how it's ugly and, and nasty. My hot take on it is uh, I think it looks fun. <laughs> I think it looks like a fun game. I don't know why everyone has an issue with fun. I understand it looks kind of ugly. The game's not fully done yet, but the game does come out in November, so they got to finish that up. But um, But at the same time, I feel like it's intentional. I think it's like an like an artistic choice to go the direction they went. I feel like they're trying to make it look like Halo One. The the thing that stood out to me the most is like when you start like when they started like driving around and like you could getting into skirmishes with the little grunts and whatever. It was like, wow, this looks a lot like Halo Three. This this is this looks fun. You, that's exactly right. It looked really fun, but it didn't have any sort of it, i was there was in no point in that trailer was i like wow holy crap that's really cool or yeah. it's just like yeah it's halo 3 that's yeah. what it looks like that's think, what it seems like it'll play like and i guess that could be okay because halo 3 was great i think halo uh, is at the point now where like it doesn't need to blow you away it just needs to be halo at this point like uh, the unfortunate thing is just like Xbox has Xbox has been like riding Halo for so long as like this is our technical marvel. It's like maybe you should have a different franchise do that, and Halo can just be the fun fucking shooter that you guys have. 
Yeah, Halo um, can be your Call of Duty. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, Halo, it looks like a lot of fun. I want to fuck with it. And it's coming to Game Pass. And, it's coming to know. PC, so what's the point of buying an Xbox? <laughs> well, I think the point is, like, you could buy an Xbox for, what, 600 bucks. I mean, we'll see. They, haven't, they didn't announce the price at this thing. Spoilers. Yeah, I, told you. I told you. Yeah, you were right. Um, so, but like, I think the point of buying an Xbox is like, it's like, cheaper. likely it's going to be anywhere between 500 to $700 yeah. for a PC to like properly run. Like most of these games, it's going to be at least $900. Like, yeah, for sure. At, at the same, at the same, um, yeah. yeah fidelity and fidelity and yeah. yeah. So then, then, then our boy Chris Lee, the head of Three Four Three Industries, came out. He talked about the campaign a a bit. Uh, We got to see the new villain. He looks cool. He looks like a Destiny villain. Um, I was just, I'm like, he looks cool. He looks like a fucking mole rat who. Yeah, he looks Destiny villain. He's just a Destiny villain, and like, well, you know who made Halo originally? Fucking Bungie. Bungie. Yeah, guys who made Destiny. So I think it makes sense. I think it's fine. It looks cartoony, but like it looks cartoony and dumb. But, but it's you know, Halo, you know, and it's uh, it's he's like, oh, I'm better than you, Master Chief, and <laughs> it's like it doesn't seem like there's any substance to the story whatsoever. Um, from does there, from does what, it really need to be? I'm no Halo expert, right? Like I'm not right. the Halo guy, but like it's Halo. Like, does it need like? a really really in-depth story i know people really like master chief and stuff and he's back it just seems like a goofy fun time and like i'm cool with that yeah. i don't know yeah i think i think the biggest thing for halo's story uh was the relationship between master chief and cortana mm-hmm. they didn't show off any cortana they didn't show off any any sort of relationship building i guess maybe between the guy that finds master chief and like he's like okay big guy get out there you know it's like that's that's the whole but it, you know it was a trailer it wasn't gonna show us a whole bunch of yeah i'm fine story with that. Shit. so we'll we'll see uh it is coming out they did give a release date for holiday 2020 yeah so i imagine with the launch of the xbox Probably um, it'll it'll be a launch day. So I then the, then they went straight into a trailer for State of Decay three, and it looks pretty neat. I liked the fact that there was did a. It, de- did it look anything? It it didn't, didn't show look game- anything. It didn't show gameplay. It was just a trailer for State of Decay. So if you're into State of Decay, then cool. There's an, there's another one. Yeah, here's another one. State of Decay has always been pretty cool, though. Um, yeah, I liked the fact that the deer was eating the wolf because he was a zombie. That was yeah, cool. Yeah, that was like kind of cool. Yeah, but that was, was kind of it. It was just a trailer. It didn't even say a date, I don't think. Nope. It just went straight. Hey, State of Decay 3, next it's ha- game. It's happening. It's for all the people who care about State of Decay. So I, I like State of Decay. I think it's, it's all right. Then our boy Phil Spencer comes out, talks about the game studios, and then he said, everything in this fucking show is coming to Game Pass. Yeah. Uh, which is that's a pretty that's a pretty baller move. I'm not gonna lie. Like, just be like, all these games, like all like 50 games or whatever we show, they're all coming to Game Pass. Uh, that was pretty baller. That's that's pretty dope. Yeah. You know, what do you think of that? If you if you could like, if you're a person who likes to beat a game in like three days, just sit down and beat like some I don't know indie game. One of the ones that are like up here that I'm seeing is like As Dusk Falls. I don't remember what that one was, but I have notes on it, and we'll get to that later. But like, if you're like, I want to play this little indie game as Dust Falls, and you beat it in three days, it's pretty sweet because you didn't have to spend, I don't know, thirty bucks for it. You just had to spend uh, what? What is it? Fifteen dollars a month, and yeah. you just you can keep playing you, every even, three days. You even less a than that, actually. And, um, if you just get Game Pass, I think it's like nine bucks, and oh, then if you well, get you Game Pass with Gold, it's like fifteen or something. Even better. Yeah, yeah, that's such a such a good thing, yeah. and I feel like Xbox is really pushing that. Uh, I don't want to say subscription service, but it kind of is. It's kind of it like is. a Netflix sort of yeah, it is. thing. Um, yeah, it's, it's cool. It's interesting. And, and the fact that like some of these games soon are going to be coming to xCloud as well, so you can like play them on the, on the shitter on your phone if you wanted to. It's pretty cool. If your internet's good enough. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> 
Yeah, of course. Um, and then I just have written here, Forza Motorsport looks spicy. <laughs> That's what I have in my notes. I it, don't, it didn't look anything. It was looks, also another trailer that didn't show anything interesting. It was just like, there's some cars with some really shitty angles filmed at really shitty angles going, I, think I got some in my teeth. Meow, 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 <laughs> meow, meow. And then the guy like walking up to like the car and then people on a computer going, hmm, how fast is this? And then more cars going, meow, meow, for it's a motorsport. That's it. Well, that, that was the whole thing. No so that, date, no like anything else. It was just, it wasn't Forza Motorsport 5. It wasn't, it was just Forza Motorsport. So I wonder if they're like revamping the brand, you know, no, on, they, the new, on the new series. No, they said it's Forza Motorsport 5. Um, but uh, yeah, first of all, let me say I'd like to apologize for picking my teeth on camera. That was pretty pretty sexy um second (laughs) second of all (laughs) second of all um yeah i it's it's um forza and and what's what's the what's the one on on gran turismo right yeah these two games have always been like to show off the specs and to show off the graphic fidelity and it gets to a certain point where it's like these car games it's like they they they've looked good for a while. Like it's eh, it's fine. This game still looks really really nice. It looks really nice. If we saw this like six years ago, we'd be like, holy shit. Um, but like, yeah, it's just what, like we're kind what of. What else can you do? You know? it's, yeah, it's just like maybe this isn't the game to show off the things. But like, I I still thought it looked pretty spicy. I thought the cars looked really nice. I mean, even if you look at like the the there was like this pair of headphones hanging on the wall. And I was like, man, those are really detailed headphones. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know. I, I thought it looked spicy. So <laughs> it, I, it didn't, I, I was kind of bored of it, but it didn't last very long. It was like, okay, show me, show, show me the cool rotating car on the stage. You know, I want to see something interesting. And it, it just wasn't interesting to me. It was very, yeah, it's a car game. I it's mean, a car racing game. If you're going to buy it, you're going to spend a lot of time it. on it. Like it was just no. like, here it is. It looks spicy in my opinion. Um, yeah, I thought it was fine. Okay. I mean, that's fine. Bitch. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm wrong apparently. And you're right. And that trailer looks spicy. So it's pretty spicy. It's pretty spicy uh, I guess. Then, after that, they showed the new rare game. It's called yep. Everwild. I don't yep. know what this game is. It's very, ar- very artsy fartsy. I'm kind of into that. I like the artsy fartsy stuff. Um, before I get your opinions, uh, Louise O'Connor, the producer, came out and she kind of talked about the game, basically saying this game is an artsy fartsy game. I can't tell you what it's what it really is. Um, <laughs> it's an artsy fartsy game. It's an artsy fartsy game. Um, here it is. What, what do you think? I have nothing it, again it was a game that didn't really show us anything it showed us uh it was Existence, like hey, rare yeah. rare's new game and that's like oh shit this is gonna be cool and it'll be you know rare's pretty good i like rare and uh they didn't show any gameplay all they showed was like these they showed, people they showed the imagery and like yeah you know, they the showed these, pe- the these people like pulling the art style the, I think- the art style yeah but the it was just like these people, it looked like these people trained these animals or maybe they have like s- s- different powers depending on which person you are. And at the end, it showed them like them saving this deer looking thing and they put it on a pedestal and it's like all injured. And then they start like praying for it or chanting for it. And then it gets up and it feels better, runs away. And then the spectral deer comes up on that altar. And it's like, wow, this is some demon worship shit. But <laughs> I don't know what it's about. It's like, and, yeah. and the whole time there's a voiceover of like, when we're giving back to nature, na- this is the way of nature. And I was like, okay, cool. I mean, it looks, it looks very different. It looks like a very artsy fartsy stylistic game. Yeah. No idea what it, what it could be. It could be open world. It could be. Yeah. I don't know what the game play open is. World, story driven. It could be, it could be, also not have a story at all it could just be like a journey type of thing where you just kind of go through Mm -hmm. who knows like it it literally showed us nothing other than 
the art style. Yeah, and... this is the first time they're showing it, though. I mean, like, when we get things from, like, you know, when we first saw Horizon Zero yeah. Dawn, all we got was, like, this weird trailer, and it was like, Gorilla. That's, like, really all we got. We're like, we no. don't know. I mean, no, that no, happens the all the time, time and we don't complain about it, it. Like It does, but the first Horizon trailer, the Horizon Zero Dawn trailer, it was like, here's the world and it set up the world. And then it showed like her running through like a, an open field and taking down one of the watchers, right? And then sure. like it, it would show like the big... I was just using Horizon as an okay. example. Like, okay. I mean, like... A- a- any game that like is a sony game if like even like the last of us like we knew it was the last of us but like i don't know i don't know what i'm trying to say it's just a like new, a new ip just yeah this is like the first time they're showing off a new ip i don't think they really need to show gameplay especially if it's not done just to say yeah. hey rare is working on a new game this is the art style this is, you know, it's a very artsy game. I mean, like, I got enough context out of it to know that, like, I'm kind of intrigued. I want to know more about it. I don't know. Uh, yeah, and, and that seems like what it's it's trying to do is just like, hey, rare. And, yeah, it's rare. If you're interested, yeah, yeah. You're interested get interested. Because we'll like, show more information at a later date. But, like, to your so, point, though, like, rare isn't rare anymore, you know? Right, right, no. Rare yep. isn't the team that like made Donkey Kong sixty four or Banjo mm-hmm. Kazooie. Like they're not that team anymore. Like Right, yeah. The last game they made was Sea of Thieves, which is That's true. A sort of artsy fartsy game, but like Honestly, it's, it does kind of look a lot like this game that they showed. The, yeah, the, same the, like, sort of art style, I guess. And yeah. Shading and everything on it. Yeah, it the, it the looks kind of the same same sort of engine, maybe. Probably. Yeah, pr- probably, but like this one seems more single player focused, where Sea of Thieves is very much like a multiplayer centric. Yeah, yeah, that's more open. By your season passes. But, but then, yeah, but then again, we don't know anything about yeah, it. Yeah, this it game could, could be that. I don't know. It could be that, but you know, you're I doubt not it, on a boat, you're in the wild. I doubt it, no though. Force. It seems it seems like it has a heavy narrative. That's Yeah, it could, yeah. Um. So then after that... They showed off the new Don't Nod game called Tell Me Why. These are the guys who make Life is Strange. Uh, it's coming out August 27th, the first chapter. Um, I don't know. It looks like more melodrama from the studio. Um, yeah, same same sort of art style, same sort of story, drama that's Life is Strange. Is. It, it just looks like a Life is Strange game. This new video, setting. Video game soap opera. Yeah. Uh, I, I kind of like Life is Strange. Yeah, I, like, I, I played the first chapter. It was pretty interesting. I like the music in the game. Very good music. Yeah. Um, but they, they did give an announce date or a release date for this one. Yeah. Of, okay. uh, August 27th. Mm-hmm. The first so, chapter. Right. Um, right. Yeah, I, I don't know. I have no real interest in it. <laughs> no, it's, it's for those artsy-fartsy... Actually, a lot of this press conference was a lot of artsy fartsy stuff. They're trying to pull the Sony thing and being like, "Hey, we care about games. We're gamers. Like, they we're for the gamers, you know." Yeah. Um, and Sony's just like, "We've always been for the gamers. We <laughs> leave, know. breathe, die, games, games, uh, <laughs> games. That's all we do." So except- then, uh, G- Gennady K. Uh, I-, I can't pronounce his last name, so I'm just gonna say K. Um, he he came out uh, and was like, "Hey, Ori and the Will of the Wisps mm. is going to run at 120 frames per second on the Xbox Series X on the XX. It looks really nice. Uh, Ori looks really nice. I haven't played it, but it looks fucking beautiful." And see, the problem that I have with this, I always have to have a problem with something that yes. I disagree with. This, the problem that I have with this i even took it out of my notes is it's already out and the whole announcement was it is enhanced for xbox series x no shit no fucking shit is it coming to xbox series x and they're going to enhance it 120 frames the human eye can't see more i don't know dude they were showing 90 frames a second or something like that or i don't remember what it is but 
once you hit a certain frame rate, it does not matter how fast the frames are. Have you ever played a game at 120 frames per second? Yes, I have. It does nothing. It's magic. No, it's so smooth. It's not. It is. I don't. They were doing it like side by side too, and they were showing it versus. And and it was in it was in slow mo. That's the only reason that you would need more frames is if something was in slow mo. That way know. you can I, that way you can stretch it out and it looks smoother in slow mo than it does. I, I think I think 120 frames per second is quite quite noticeable. I think I think you can notice it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up right now. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> Frame rate of human eye. The human I, eye can process up to 10 to 12. 10 to 12 images per second and perceived pictures being shown individually. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Human brain perceives reality at a rate somewhere between 24 and 48 frames per second. But you, cannot... but you still notice the difference between 30 frames and 60. Because that, you, you can definitely notice. definitely do. Yeah. That's Just because like it's, like, it's at, it's at like 25 can... to 48. 30 lies in between that. So you it's, take it's you take thirty rate. frames. It's, it's not my eye. It's like the uh, that's dumb as fuck, dude. No, no, it's not because like it, you'll you see like the cameras. I've, I know you've seen a couple of videos where it'll be like a picture or a video of like a helicopter taking off, and the frame rate matches up with the f- capture rate of the video camera, and it looks like it's just staying still and moving up towards the thing. The human eye does the same thing at a certain point. It could be higher than 48 frames a second, but at a certain point, you just will not see a difference. Sure. But I, I've still, I've played games at 120 versus 60, and I have noticed the difference. You could definitely notice the difference. Don't, dude. I don't think so. Like, I if promise you, have, you, you can. If you have a very smooth 60 frames with no drops in it, yeah. and you have a, a very smooth 120 frames, you're not going to see a difference. I think you will. I, mm, I think you absolutely will. I, I do not think so. I think that would be a animation. Just, just like that would be an animation problem, and it would be fake frames. Um, because if you're not animating every single frame of of the sixty frames, then you shouldn't be have to call. You shouldn't be able to call your game sixty frames a second. Because you're you're characters your animations are not moving at 60 frames well uh, in order like games aren't hand-drawn like that anymore nick no they're not that's not how how games work but you can have an animation that goes frame 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 yeah but it now it's moving at 120 frames that's what it's saying but right but what does that mean? That means that there's 120 frames a second yes. that is animated. Yes. But that it, you will not see a difference. <laughs> yes, you will. From 60 <laughs> frames to 120 you frames. You'll no. notice it. No. This is the dumbest conversation I've I ever had. I don't think so. Just, just like your your human eye can't like tell above like you know the 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 2,000 pixels or whatever uh, on on a TV, but you notice 8K. Like you can still see the difference. <laughs> And 8K. I disagree, and you're very oh quiet now. You got you got really quiet. 4K and 8K, there is no difference. You're just making your screen bigger. That's the whole. Oh, that's that's not, the whole. That's not, that's not how 8K works anyway. That is how that works. That's no. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it works. You're making the pixels small. Oh my god, this is dumb. All right. You need to you need to fix yourself. Am I still quiet? It's still quiet. Oh god. Just, Give it a second. You yelled too too much into the mic, and it fucking spiked way up. Anyway, after that, they went into a like an Obsidian trio sort of thing, where they showed out three games made by Obsidian, and uh, the first one was Outer World, Outer Worlds, it was DLC. Outer Worlds expansion. Yeah. Yeah. Am I still quiet? Harold, you're a little quiet. I don't. I could probably turn up. Uh, the. Out of Worlds Perils on Gorgon, which is coming What's out that? September. That's much better. Okay. Uh, September 9th. And um, it's a DLC. I didn't play the Outer Worlds. Um, I had a friend that said it was really fucking good. It's and, Fallout. But, and he would loan it to me, but he loaned it to somebody else, and now they don't. He doesn't have it to loan it to me. 
Um, so I never got to play it. It looks more like the Outer Worlds. So if you like the Outer Worlds and you've been looking for more content in it, there you go. And I hear it's a pretty sizable content yeah. uh, addition. I, well. I thought that trailer was really dumb. Did you? Yeah, the one that's like the the fifties voiceover. Yeah, well, here in Outer was, Worlds, oh, I, that was I hate the that. that was the whole thing about the Outer Worlds, though. It's so dumb, though. It's just like, ugh. And then the the apparently the biggest game of the year. Is that it's, what it said? Yeah, it's is, Cyberpunk. Is Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven? But, but if, if you, you want, want the smallest game, the smallest game, then you have Grounded. <laughs> Which was kind of funny. I, I also I, I also really liked when they were like, Obsidian, the maker of games, nothing like this one. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. That funny. It, it's just, a, it's called Grounded, and it's like a Honey, I Shrunk the Kids survival game. It kind of looks yeah, like, it's like Rust. Rust. Yeah, yeah. Or, or I don't play survival games a whole lot. Ark, I think, is another one. Yeah, um, yeah it, it looks like July that. July 28th. July twenty eighth, that comes out, and uh, they yeah, showed looks, a, a little bit of like gameplay. They, looks like they rushed it together. It looks kind of like they just kind of rushed this game out, and they're like, "Hey, you work for us now, over at Xbox, make us a game." It, <laughs> and they're like, "Here it, it could, is." It could be, but it, uh, yeah, it just it. I don't know if it's still in beta or if July twenty eighth is like the. Beta? It just said it comes out July twenty eighth. It thought. doesn't. It doesn't look ready. Uh, but no. then again, you go to any of the other survival I, games, and they don't look very good either. You know, I have a feeling it's going to be like a fifteen dollar game, and, it's and just yeah, like, and there'll be there'll be updates to it. I'm sure over yeah. the, over the course of the years. Well, and it's going to be on Game Pass anyway. So yeah. And then the last thing that Obsidian uh, showed, I suppose, was a their new RPG. Uh, it's called Avowed. And it looks like and Elder Scrolls. Does it? It looks like arrows flying through the sky. That's what it looks like. But then it, but then it, it, it shot down and it came down and then it did this very intentionally, Nick, where he pulled out the sword and then he did the other hand and he had the magic right. very intentionally saying, okay. this is Elder Scrolls. Right. Yeah. Okay. Like, very intentionally. Yeah, I, I suppose. But then... I guess because they're just, it seems like what they're doing is like, yeah, we worked on Halo. We, we worked on, or not Halo, sorry. We worked on Fallout. So here's Outer Worlds. Yeah, we worked on Elder Scrolls. So here's yeah. Avowed, you yeah. know, and it's. They're basically saying, we're better Bethesda and we need half the budget to do it. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's what it seems like they're getting at. And I'm all about it, dude. Good I'm, for them because yeah. Bethesda needs to suck a dick or something <laughs> where are they i haven't heard from them at all I, this year yeah yeah they're shit they have nothing they're all all their shit's like 16 years down the line and yep doesn't matter um, yeah I, I think of how it'll probably be fun i'm sure yeah. it's no gonna, release date no no release window no anything so the, the guy but, literally came out and said like this is super early but we wanted to show it to you um yeah yeah and yeah so I mean, maybe something to look at, look forward to. It will definitely be on the radar of most people, I would assume. Um, I'll check it out. I, sure. I, what I'm curious about with Obsidian now, now that they work for Xbox and they're owned by Xbox, um, I wonder, because Outer Worlds came out after that, that buy, but they had been working on that game for a while, right? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they were on their... So that they game were, actually came out on PlayStation. So I wonder if Avowed is going to come out on PlayStation or not, even though they're owned by Xbox. Because, it, I mean, it wouldn't be the first time that they've done that. I mean, every Minecraft game, even that new Minecraft Dungeons came to PlayStation. So yeah, I, I wonder if they're just going to be like, yeah, just put it on PlayStation. That's fine. It could be. because I it, have no it idea. Is a, it is a second party. It's not. They, they own Obsidian now. Well, yeah, but they, I'm not sure. It's not a third party. I feel like it's a second party. Like It's not. It's like Bethesda and uh, the guys that do Dishonored, you know? Well, that's, that's a no. bad comparison, actually. No, uh, so, like, a first party would be, like, like, Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog is a first party developer. Right, 
right, right, right. A second party would be like Japan Studio or not Japan Studios. Uh, the dudes who make um, uh, Dark Souls. What are those guys? Is that Japan Studios? No, that's not Japan Studios. Ninja Theory? That's Is not it? right either. Whatever. Those dudes, when they came on and made Bloodborne, that's second party because they're making that game for exclusively for PlayStation, but they're still not owned by PlayStation. Gotcha. Where the, where like Obsidian is actually owned by Xbox now, so it's actually like a first party game. And then third party is just everybody. It's like who, Ubisoft and yeah, okay. Um, you know, yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like Obsidian technically is a first party studio, so it'd be interesting to see if they have a first party studio making a game for PlayStation. However, later in the segment, late later in the the thing they they have console launch exclusives yeah that's weird and that wasn't part of this and we'll we'll get into that a little bit we'll later talk about that in a second because um, i've got some that, questions about that uh but then matt booty came out my boy matt <laughs> booty booty <laughs> he's like indies indies are cool um and then from the this indie studio called interior night uh caroline marchol came out and she showed off this visual novel called as dusk falls it looks like a visual novel i don't know yeah what is what does my note say i said country boy picture book game yeah yeah that's that's that sums it up pretty yeah, well it's set in like a rural state and there was like a hold up and it changed everybody's perspective on shit and it's all pictures that slightly move and that's that's what that is and it i mean good for them but i, I won't be buying it it does not interest me. Um, anything else to add to that? No, I mean, yeah, it's uh, it's no, not really. <laughs> okay. And then moving on, we got Psychonauts two. From uh, Soft, From Soft are the guys that make Dark Souls, oh, right? Right, 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 right. <laughs> Just to bring it back there. For a Just bring it back around. Yeah. So then, uh, Dom Matthews came out from ninja theory and he's like hey hellblade 2 we're working on it it's on unreal engine 5 we're location scouting right now which means this game is in super early development if they're oh, just yeah. now doing location scouting like they're, they're super only for early when they when they made um sasuna sacrifice hellblade um there was only like 18 people working on it or something like that some crazy small number mm-hmm. so it's kind of crazy that xbox picked them up and I'd like i don't know how big the team is now but i can't imagine they're too far into production anyway like no. even even still they're probably like we'll see if this is a good setting for our story you know i'm a little confused on i don't know if you played hellblade um mm-hmm. oh i've watched i've watched a couple of people play it I don't understand why they'd make a sequel to Hellblade. It seems like a weird game to make a sequel to, especially like the content nature of it. It's like, yeah. why don't you just like make another game that's like in the vein of Hellblade, but like a mm. different, different, game. different story, not, you know? not with the same characters or anything. Yeah. yeah it just seems weird to like turn this. I don't know. It's almost because like the first one was such a good like dialogue about like schizophrenia and stuff like that where now it's like you're turning it into a franchise and that's just sort of weird. Yeah. Just like just like turning the butterfly effect into a franchise is weird, <laughs> which they did, did that, that too. They did that? Oh, yes. no. I have not seen the... Not with Ashton Kutcher, though. Oh. <laughs> they, I can't uh, imagine he'd sign off on it. Then, like, in the, the third movie, it turned into a horror movie. And, like, oh, yeah, no. It got weird. And I'm worried about Hellblade doing something weird like that. Although Hellblade is already sort of a horror i i don't you said you just watched it dude when Mm -hmm. you play it and you're wearing headphones and like all your lights are off dude it is freaky the sound design in that game it's meant for headphones and it like goes all around your head and it's just it is freaky dude i couldn't play that game for like more than like 40 minutes without just freaking out really great game super good super super good um so yeah I'll, i'll i'm interested in that um but yeah, super early development. Do you have anything on that? No, but I actually took it off my list because they didn't really say anything interesting other than uh, Hellblade 2, but they already said that 
in an earlier show. So I was like, okay. Yeah, so then uh, Double Fine came out with Psychonauts 2, and it was a Jack Black song. Jack Black started singing. And I have written right here, aesthetic, aesthetic as fuck. That's what I have on my notes. But it wasn't a Jack Black song. It was written by some other guy, and Jack Black sang it. I forgot well, who. I'm pretty sure Tim Schafer, right? Uh, and no. No, it was somebody else. It was Tim Schafer. It wasn't Tim Schafer. It was the other guy. Because uh, Tim Schafer's like, hey, Jack Black, can you sing this song? And he's like, yeah, who wrote the song? And they pointed to a guy and he's like, yeah, I wrote this song. And then I was like, cool, it's a great song. And he starts singing it and the show's pretty, pretty yeah. psychedelic. He wrote the song uh, for Jack Black for the game. To sing, yeah, yeah. to sing for this trailer. Yeah, and it looks else. pretty... Yeah. pretty psychedelic and interesting and like Aesthetic good old fun. fashion fun yeah like, for sure like a 70s like acid trip like yeah yeah kind of all about the mind and like dmt and shit i don't know you know yeah i'm super interested in, in psychonauts too um yeah I, I really like tim schaefer that guy's cool and then when tim schaefer and jack black get together always good times always good things happen uh i think they made uh a brutal legend together so mm. yeah um, that makes sense yeah so uh then sarah bond bond sarah bond, bond. she's like nice. in charge of something at xbox um she's like hey remember how bungie used to be like working with us well they're working with us again uh destiny's coming to game pass and all the expansions and yep. every future expansion well at least the next expansion that comes out later the this year beyond light dlc comes which, out november 10th which is a huge get i'd say for game pass the fact for that, game yeah the fact that they have all the expansions as well it's almost like bungie like giving back to xbox being like hey sorry we did that to you activision was like way worse <laughs> <laughs> yeah um honestly yeah but i don't know it's it's a good move for them because it, if people people who have Game Pass, you have Game Pass, right? Uh, sometimes, yeah. <laughs> so it, it's a like it's a good thing for them to do. Like if you know you have a dry season and you're like, I don't know what to play. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll re up on my Game Pass and play some Destiny. See what's new in in the Destiny world. Well, and it's like the you same know? reason I got Monster Hunter is like I didn't really have a whole lot of interest in Monster Hunter, but I just saw all the boys were playing it, so I was like, true, something to play with the boys. So then, like, on Game Pass, you could be playing Hellblade, and then when the boys are on, you're like, okay, let's play Destiny and just stick around to Destiny. Mm-hmm. I think I think it's a super good get. Plus, Destiny, like, as much shit as we all give Destiny, like, it's a good game, like, it's and it's fun. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. And it's even more fun when all the expansions are just included in your subscription. Like, that's yep. super yep. good. Um, For sure. Yeah. Um, and then Sarah Bond, Bond, Sarah Bond. Bond, uh, she came back out and she's like, Hey, every game after this are all console launch exclusives, which I don't know what the fuck that means. It means it's launching on the console. Does it? I don't know what that means. Cause I, I don't I, know what it means I either. Figured, I figured it meant like these are games that are coming out on the launch of the console, like the same mm-hmm. day, like day and right. day. But then they showed, then they showed, uh, the fat shark the, uh, the fat shark guys the guys who make warhammer they showed off oh, the, okay. the new expansion and then it said 2021 and i'm yeah. like then how is it a console launch exclusive it's, yeah so is it just it's is it like a timed exclusive I'm, that's what i'm thinking or is it a console launch exclusive or is it launch window exclusive I, that that yeah, they really kind of confused the fuck out of I, their wording and like, and then it's like, Xbox man, Xbox Series X, you console console you know, not, launch not to go not to go out of order. We'll we'll go back into order here in a second. But then they showed off like Tetris Effect, the new Tetris Effect, and like I know that game's going to come to PlayStation, like like yeah. you know it is the, probably well, the same day. Like I don't the think thing they, is the thing is that Tetris Effect was just DLC for multiplayer. Tetris Effect Connected was just DLC. It was like a right, but you know uh, that it, you know yeah, it's it's coming to PlayStation for sure. Yeah, so like yeah. I, I, the the wording is just confusing. But we'll, we'll we'll just go down this now. Like I just wanted to clarify. Like that made no sense. I don't know what their wording's all about. Just like they they always say world premiere for games that we've already seen. 
like or or even <laughs> yeah like it's 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 buzzwords it's the console yeah. launch exclusive what does that mean means yeah. means nothing but gets the people high it gets the people excited you know? i guess it just means that these games are coming out around the launch window i i, I don't i don't fucking know um, so they showed off Stalker two. I don't. I've never even really heard of Stalker one. So I looked into Stalker, okay. the first one. It was based on a Russian book, made before the Chernobyl accident, like written before the Chernobyl accident. And um, I think there was a movie also based on the book, uh, also Russian. And then they made a game based off of the book and the movie, but they don't exactly correlate. They just have the same sort of themes. Um, and I looked up some stalker gameplay. It looks like a horror first person horror thing where you're walking around Chernobyl and weird shit's happening. Like people are floating away and monster invisible monsters are attacking you. And there's like shit exploding and it, it looks kind of like uh, Wolfenstein. It, it kind of look, it gives off that kind of vibe. So, but l- I guess a little darker, less, less humor. Uh, I never played it. It, uh, they didn't show anything on it in this press or other than it's set in chernobyl still and they showed a little trailer right yeah yeah it was like it would be like just locations in chernobyl like it'd be like a house that got blown away or like the the famous uh ferris wheel or and then it shows like the guy in the gas mask and he turns around and it just cuts to black and says stalker two that was pretty much the whole thing Hmm. um i'm sure it's exciting for people who have played soccer i don't know anything about it yeah, I, I hear it's a cult classic. It either got really Must good be. reviews or really bad reviews is what I hear. <laughs> um, it's like, um, yeah, uh, uh, Deadly Premonition, like that game. Yeah, 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 kind of. Yeah. Um, so then, yeah, then they showed off that Warhammer expansion. Looks like more is Warhammer. It an expansion? I think so. I thought it was a new game. I, I thought it was an expansion. I don't know. I don't know how their Warhammer games work, yeah, but it's Warhammer Forty K Dark Tide. Yeah, I think it's an expansion. Uh, okay, it's coming out twenty twenty one. Yeah, it's Warhammer. Who gives a shit? Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then the dudes over at At Hans. This made me fucking tear up and get like all hype, hyped because what I've been saying forever. I'm a, I'm a huge Tetris fan. It's the best game ever made. The most perfect game ever made. No, no one will ever top Tetris. Like Dr. Mario comes close, but like Tetris is like Puyo God. Puyo? What about Puyo Puyo? Yeah, uh, dude, Puyo Puyo does not touch Tetris. <laughs> um, yeah, but Tetris Effect, right? Mm-hmm. The one thing I've always had an issue with in that game is there's no battle mode. There's no way to compete against people. And it's finally happening. Tetris Effect Connected comes out this holiday. I don't know if it's coming to PlayStation or not. I think it will. It probably will. I By, based no off of based off of what they say is a console launch exclusive, it's gonna come to Xbox first. Yeah, I don't. I don't That's my guess. That's my I, best guess. I don't know. It's confusing. Um, yeah, it looks cool. It looks like you know they've they've got like large blocks and then like a way that like almost like co op Tetris, which looks weird. Mm. Uh, yeah, it looks I don't know how that's going to work, but looks fun. Uh they showed my boy Jonas Newbauer in the in the video. Uh give it up for the Tetris champ. Um mm. that was pretty cool. Yeah, so Tetris, it's awesome. Get yeah. hyped. <laughs> um then they showed a little game called The Gunk. Um, gunk. The Gunk looked really cute. Uh It did. I liked the the art style. It's a game about like cleaning shit up, I guess. That's what I have. What I what I have written in my notes is, uh, uh, let's see, little girl vacuuming goop with her robot hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what it was. Well, She's running like, away from baddies. Yeah, that are made of goop. Like they go to this planet, and this is like, you sure you want to land here? And she's like, I've already got my my outfit on. I'm I'm so good to go. And then she lands on a planet, and you're like walking through all these flowers and stuff, and then there's goop. 
And then she's like, what is this? Let me just vacuum it up real quick <laughs> for some reason. And she just starts vacuuming stuff up and it looks like a, looks fun. It looks like a little, looks platformer. like a platformer. Yeah. Yeah. Like a little yep. platformer where you clean up gunk. Yeah. Uh, and I like that. You'll probably get upgrades on your like vacuum and like ways to attack guys. Almost like, uh, like, um, Luigi's mansion almost. I'm sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe maybe this will be Xbox's new Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, you know? ratchet, it's like their Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, maybe. So, uh, maybe. I didn't catch who made it though. Um, that's unfortunate. Whatever. Um, so then the Bloober team, which great great name for Bloober. Like Bloober team. Uh, they showed off. They're they're the guys who made like uh, Blair Witch and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Uh, they showed off their game, The Medium, which I thought was maybe one of the most impressive games shown off at this entire conference. Yeah, it showed off uh, what the PlayStation has been showing off every every t- chance they get. Um, yeah. Well, so like instant changing of levels, even though. Well, so like what I've heard with with um, the difference between like the the, the PlayStation system and the Xbox, right, is like the Xbox is more of a powerhouse where Sony is more like we have this solid state that just runs really fast. So with PlayStation, they were showing off like, look at how quickly we can load in these different areas and effects. Um, And Xbox is over here like, well, we could just have two full areas running at the same exact time. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, Yeah. that, that, that's some... Yeah, that, that was probably that was probably the coolest looking and technically like, the coolest. Yeah, I don't know how the thing that they be, showed, but yeah. like it's still some big dick energy uh, as far as like the hardware is concerned. It's kind of a sleeper in this whole because I haven't heard anybody else talk about it. Yeah, I thought that was um, that. Was, to me, when I saw that trailer, I was like, "This is their Ratchet and Clank. This is their." Not as far as gameplay, but as far as like showing off the hardware. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. showing showing the hardware, like actually purposefully showing off the hardware. Yeah, like yeah. this is that game because like the fact th- what the game is is like you're a human in the normal realm, and then also like in the ghost realm. realm? <laughs> yeah, ghost <laughs> ghost mur- murder so, realm. Like uh, yeah. I don't. So yeah. So but you, you can. You it seems like you can simultaneously. It seems like you can switch between either one of them at any point. Yeah, but but both it, of the both it, of it is going at the same exact time. It also looks like you could ha- you could have your screen split so you can see both things at the same. Oh, time. Oh, I didn't catch that. That would yeah. be interesting too. So that way, if it's like I need to go over here and talk to someone as like a human, but there's like a huge obstacle on this side of of the existence you have to go like and like, mm. yeah it, it seems kind of cool almost yeah. it's probably going to be like a puzzle game almost P- p- horror puzzle game a yeah. horror puzzle game but like yeah, yeah. it all started with a with a gun and a girl <laughs> and a boat that's how they started that yeah. that trailer. It all started with a gun <laughs> and a girl <laughs> And it's like okay, but but it got interesting anyway. Um, uh, yeah, and then Sega made an appearance, showing off Fantasy Star Online Two, New Finally. Genesis. That's that's the yeah little, it, little subtitle, New Genesis. Uh, finally coming to America, I guess. I guess this has been a thing in Japan for a long time. I don't know. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. I'm not Re- up to date. Really popular. But when I watched it, you know what I did think? I was like, Nick is gonna like this game. You think so? It it yeah. it does kind of strike me. It's a very I'm like this is a Nick game right here. It's a very anime fighting, yeah. Uh, almost an M- MMO. I think it is. Not, I think I think it is, but it doesn't have like the, you know, your your powers reset. I think it's like an action an action MMO, which is kind of exciting. You know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it looks, it looks like cool. A, looks, looks cool. Good. I'll have to see more on it. This is the one that I don't think will ever come to PlayStation, though. Fantasy Star Online? Yeah, because they already have Fantasy Star Online on the PlayStation, the first one. And I have not heard of any of, any of it coming to PlayStation. So, yeah, they don't need it. No. It's big in Japan, but so we'll, we'll see. Uh, and then Remedy 
No, this was interesting. This yeah. this was like what remedy? Are you serious? They're not yeah. even done with control yet. Yeah, remedy. Right. I was like, whoa, remedy's here. They have a new game called Crossfire. Crossfire X. Crossfire X. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. It, it was it was hard to see, but it was like in the background. It said Crossfire, and then on the back it said X. So actually, I had to double check that. Um. Yeah, it looks. I I don't really know, but it's Remedy, so I I'm all about it. Remedy, yeah. Remedy is just gonna work with everyone, I suppose. They're they're like, we'll work with PlayStation on Control, or work with Xbox over here on Crossfire. Yeah, you know what? They make you know great what? games. So yeah, they sure do. Some really like mind fucky games, like Alan Wake. Which, by the way, the medium kind of gives off Alan Wakey sort of vibes. Sort of, me. yeah, yeah. Um. But yeah, Crossfire X, it it looks like, for me, when I watched it the second time, it looks like a crisis game because you're like very militarized, very like you can go invisible and something funky is going to happen because it's a remedy game. But, you know, just like the tools you can use, it reminded me very much of like a crisis game. Um, but the character, there was like actual characters in it and it, it could be good. It, yeah, I'm excited. They didn't show a whole lot on no. it, but I'm sure they're pretty early on in it. But yeah, yeah, that almost makes me want to get an Xbox just to play that. <laughs> just to see uh, what the fuck they're doing. Yeah, but uh, maybe I'll just beef up my computer so I can play it on my computer. But um, yeah, it's remedy, dude. Fuck yeah, that's awesome. And then the booty came back out. Uh, <laughs> The booty. <laughs> <laughs> the booty came out. Matt Booty. Uh, he's like, hey, we have a huge dick. All of these games are on Game Pass. Um, Once again. Yeah. And then he's like, we have one more thing to share, though. And There's always one more thing, isn't there? And it was what everyone was expecting. It yeah. was Fable. Fable's back, baby. The but most it... disappointing RPG of all time is back to disappoint you again. But you know, the, <laughs> they did they did the fucking Elder Scrolls Six bullshit, where they're just like Fable. That's it. Good night. Yeah, you yeah. know, no no trailer. It was literally just words came up on the screen. Fable. Well, no, Whoa. They, they showed more than that. They showed a fairy getting eaten by a frog. A fairy and... getting eaten by a toad. Okay, well, that's very Fable. Like that's very Fable comedy. Ha ha. Jokey jokey Fable. I did not laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Fable's cool, but like, I, I, it just seems like everyone has forgotten that like Fable, like the first one was like a huge disappointment to most people. And now everyone's like, Fable! And it's like, yeah. I, I always thought Fable was like a middle of the road RPG. And like, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. It was like, it's not the best, but like, you know, some people really had fun with it. And there's some fun like little uh interactions you can do and some interesting different things you can do that you couldn't do in other rpgs but yeah. it never it never like stood on its own as like a great game yeah it's I just felt. like all xbox has though is fable halo gears like that's like all they have banjo kazooie well they have banjo and they have these things but like banjo isn't going to get the pop that you need like i think it one, would. I one really more thing think it banjo would. like i don't think, I think it would yeah i guess but you gotta I, have I, you gotta have rare make that um but it's like you said rare is not rare anymore that's true so could, it doesn't really a matter whole new studio you know if they do another conference though and they're like hey one more thing and it's you know suicide squad like that yeah, there was there was no WB Games was not there. No, I, I don't know what's going on with them over there, dude. Because, like, they they have to do... Like, Rocksteady has to announce a game at some point. Or they're just going to say, like, we're closing the studio. Nothing's <laughs> happening. Like we're, we're selling everything to everybody, all the companies that we're interested in. Which would be, like, a damn shame. Us. Like, if Xbox, yeah. like, bought Rocksteady and they're like, ah, just start a new game. Just, yeah, it'll just scrap all of it. You know that game that you've been working on for the past, like, six years? Scrap it. Start Scrap, over. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, I do have a new story. Before we get into this new story that I put in here, uh, there's a new story that I read yesterday about a big-ass Nintendo leak. 
I don't know if you've heard about this one, but mm-hmm. Nintendo, um, I don't know how it happens. I just saw, I read a little bit of an article and it's, I'm not going to get into it cause I don't know a whole lot about it, but, uh, somewhere, somehow somebody found Nintendo 64, uh, files that proves that like Luigi was supposed to be in Mario 64 or like was planned to be, but he never was. And there was like a whole bunch of like a huge leak of a whole bunch of information that was just like, he is on the, on the, the DS version, right? I don't know. I didn't play it, but it was just like all these old N64 games that everybody played. There was just like so much more content that just never got released. And it was just like, wow, that's kind of crazy. And it, it, you should just go look it up because I, I don't know all the details, but I thought that was kind of interesting. I thought you were about 20, to... 20 I... years later, and now I... we're finding files that are just like, here, they they exist. They existed. I, th- I thought you were about to tell me that uh, people were finding N- Nintendo 64 files and we're about to get a Nintendo 64 section oh yeah on the switch i was like what no that would, yes! that would be cool <laughs> but yeah one of them said like ocarina of time 2 was a thing zelda ocarina of time 2 was a thing that could have happened but never did or like it, was I, very... it did it's called majora's mask <laughs> right but like it was it was literally titled ocarina of time 2 well that that's interesting that you bring up nintendo so first of all, how do you feel on the whole about this Xbox? The Xbox thing? Uh, if I were to give it a grade, I'd give it a B. I'd give it, I'd give it a strong B, yeah. yeah like, I'd give it a low B, actually, I th- because... I think they showed off a lot of games, though, and like the fact that they're all coming to Game Pass, and like you don't think they showed off a lot of games when they, in fact statistically did show off a lot of games no no i don't think they showed off any games i think they showed off they didn't show off a lot of gameplay game yeah and one of my biggest things is no game no hype uh thanks to destructoid and uh yeah but like it's it's very much like no game no hype like halo infinite we saw the game it looks fun i'm interested state of decay no game there was nothing about it forza motorsport Nothing about it. No cockpit view. No third person view. Nothing. It was just all it's a car side game, camera Nick. angles. But still, Everwild. It was like this is what our story may be about. No gameplay. Tell me why it was well. That, that that's just a story game, right? And and that's those fine. I can those I can live without. Like you know, because there's not going to be a whole lot of gameplay in something like uh, the uh, what are the guys that did the. The Walking Dead series. There's the, like if The Walking Dead came back and they're like, "Here's Walking Dead, the next chapter or whatever." I wouldn't expect them to show gameplay. I would just, you know, um, the Outer Worlds showed a little bit of gameplay. Cool. Grounded showed a little bit of gameplay. Cool. Avow nothing. They, they nothing did at though. All. I think the fact that it's so early mm-hmm. and they showed the sword and the hand, I think, was like, "This is what the gameplay is." I just don't. I think, think it's pretty that. telling. I think that was like pretty hype moment. I and the game's don't... super early. You can't expect gameplay from everything. I, okay, but I just don't think they should have even said anything. Why not? Because because why? It, because it could get scrapped. The it hype. Could get scrapped. I'm hyped. They're not going to scrap it. They're fucking How do you obsidian. know they scrapped they scrap Scalebound? That's fucking Platinum. You but, know? But Platinum's not a first-party studio like Obsidian. No. no. But it's still, it, it's like, it's too early for them to show the th- something. The thing if with, they can't the thing show anything, Scalebound, I just don't feel like... What I'd have like... to guess with Scalebound is Platinum had very ambitious goals, mm-hmm. and Xbox is like, we'll give you this amount of money to do it. And they're like, they were just like too ambitious and Xbox is like, we can't give you more money because Xbox is failing. And then they're like, okay, well, we just have to throw it away then. I think that's what happened with Scalebound. With Obsidian, though, it's like, we will give you more money because you're our studio and we care about you. True. Okay, I I see your point. But I think most 60 to 70% of this conference could have just been put YouTube videos like just released them out one at a time like i mean they do that anyway they do that anyway 
like everything else gets, but this is a good way to get everyone's eyes looking in one screen and showing off all these different games. Like if you release them one by one, you know, um, a game like Everwild, well, no, Everwild is not a good example, but like Tell Me Why is going to get like maybe, you know, 25,000 views. Well, you know, Avowed, Um, Avowed is going to get like a million views. Right. Um, But this way it's like, all of these games, then they're all on Game Pass. They're all with Xbox. They're all to make Xbox look good. Are all now getting, I don't know, probably 10 million views if you were to collaborate everywhere that everyone watched. I guess um, so. It's just like but it makes a I lot just, of sense to do it this way. And yeah, I get and like, it. And, you know, Psychonauts showed off gameplay. Destiny yeah. 2 showed off gameplay. Yeah. Uh, Stalker 2 didn't, but Tetris Effect showed off gameplay, the Gunk showed off gameplay, the Medium showed off gameplay, mm-hmm. Fantasy Star Online showed off gameplay, and then Crossfire is like early development, and so is Fable. Right. It, so, I mean, just, like, they showed off a lot of shit. They did. It's just, it wasn't as, it was so, it, it just didn't do anything for there, me. Like, nothing really. There was just no, like, get hype moment. There was no get hype moment. It was the get hype moment for me for a game, not not counting the medium and like the the whole you know engineering part of it, but the get hype moment game where I'm like, wow, I might really want to play that game is um, uh, uh, Halo Infinite, where he pulls up and and it's just like, are they gonna fucking show gameplay this time? They've been like showing off shitty trailers for the past three years with nothing but I'm master chief and I'm a big guy and I'm back. And then they showed off gameplay and I'm like, Holy shit, this looks like halo three. This looks like fun. You know? Yeah. Um, but I, I think there were a lot of things in here that I thought were cool. I mean like state of decay three, that was pretty lackluster cause they didn't show yeah. anything, but like Everwild got me hyped. Cause I'm like, Oh, rare is making like an artsy fartsy game. That's cool. Um, you know, Avowed is exciting to know that, like, Obsidian is working on a Skyrim-type game. I'll give like, you that. I'll give you that Avowed is working on a Skyrim-type game. You I know, and we've, we've seen quite stuff... Pick up the... We've the, seen stuff from Psychonauts, but, like, this is the first time where we got to see this, like, psychedelic world, that, and that, yeah. that was pretty cool. Like, I don't know. The medium was really hype. The gunk was really hype. Of course, for me, Tetris, I saw that yeah. bawling because I love yeah. Tetris so much. Yeah, I heard you crying in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't even live together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I thought it was a pretty I, okay. There just wasn't like a Last of Us. You know, there wasn't a God of War because Xbox doesn't have a Last of Us or a God right. of War. Right, right. But the they closest, have. The closest thing they have is, I, I'd say, Hellblade. Like that's, Cyberpunk. They, That's but I mean, Xbox, they, they, they're like strongly supported by CD project. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. It wasn't, this one didn't seem like it was for me. Um, yeah, it, I, I, it, I thought had, it, cool. it had a couple of winners, but it was just like, most of it was like, yeah, I'll, I like that. I'm not going to get it. You yeah. Know, it, it has my attention. It'll lose my attention in a couple of days. I think I'd ac- absolutely play the gunk. Really? No. I think uh, I absolutely would. That game looks that, fun. I just played that back. Game, <laughs> <laughs> remember that game ReCore? That, yeah, that was like, yeah. Yeah, it looked like that for me. And I was like, mm. uh, I don't know. I think it looks better than that. Um, it's, but, but It's too early to tell. It's, it's interesting you bring up Nintendo, though. So, like, we've seen stuff from Sony. We've seen stuff from Xbox. We've even seen stuff from, like, Ubisoft. We haven't seen anything from Nintendo. The closest thing we got was that mini direct. The mini direct. Where yeah, they're like, hey, uh, WWE Battlegrounds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's like, so like, what's, what's up with Nintendo, you think? What do you think? Do you think they're going to drop something? Or, dude, like, because I, I got to say, Nintendo's really been, like, the Switch Quiet. has really been a letdown since, like, the second year. Like, yeah. There hasn't yeah. been... I mean, we've gotten Animal Crossing, sure. We've gotten Smash, cool. But, like, what yeah. else? They're sitting on so many IPs that I they know. could, they could release. They could release Mario Kart, the, the next Mario Kart. They could release, like, whatever the fuck they Zelda wanted two. to. Like Zelda 2. Yeah, Zelda 2. Breath, we Breath haven't seen Wild. anything about that. Metroid Prime, that still hasn't been shown anything. Like, 
my guess, my best guess is going to be August, where everything's just going to come out. Sony's going to come out with the price and the release date. Xbox is going to come out with the price and the release date. And to combat that for Nintendo, they're going to be like, yo, we Fuck got your prices. Metroid. We got games. We got games. <laughs> we got Metroid Prime. We got uh, the new Mario Kart. We got a new uh, Kirby game. We got a new, uh, like, you, you know, all that shit that they have that they're sitting on that they haven't done anything with. I feel like that will at least get announced uh, in some form like a, as a close kind of like next year, like 2021, we're going to get Zelda or, you know, it'll, it'll have release dates and stuff. I, I'm guessing August, September is going to yeah. be the, the time where they're going to just be like, this is maybe, or they're just going to do more of these shitty ass directs where they're like, Hey, Barbie's playhouse is coming to the switch. <laughs> <laughs> Cook, cooking mama, cool. cooking right. mama. Um, what what was it? Bitcoin farm coming to Switch. <laughs> Could, and also, I would really love if the Switch put on uh, NES Tetris onto the NES uh, app so I could play some NES Tetris. That'd be great. Uh, we got one more piece of news here before we yep. wrap things up. Uh, it looks like this comes from Polygon, Susanna Polo. Uh, the G4 network will return in 2021. Ellipses somehow (laughs) 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 somehow g4 the defunct cable television network that featured tech gaming and entertainment programming is apparently returning in some form in 2021 according to a teaser posted by ign during comic-con at home the only replacement for san diego comic-con in 2020 the official twitter accounts for attack of the show and x play G4's best known shows also posted the teaser along with a tagline, We never stopped playing. The only other activity currently visible on those accounts is retweets of tweets from 2012. Yeah. I thought that was fucking interesting, dude. That is super interesting. Uh, I don't know what that means. Are they going to come back as a YouTube channel? Or there's so much like are are they gonna be a netflix show yeah, are they gonna be a streaming? hbo show are, are they, they gonna, gonna have their own like, streaming network are they gonna be on like basic cable with like actual tv stuff like could it but like could it be a streaming network where it's like it's g4 and we have a show starring greg miller and we have you know attack of the show on here that posts like once a week and it's like, and every episode of Cops is on here as well. You can watch it anytime you want. <laughs> every episode of Cops. <laughs> I don't know. A streaming network might be kind of cool. Like just a gaming centric streaming network. It would be. That'd be kind of interesting. But you know, it would only be cool if it was free. Y- yeah. That's, yeah. That's maybe, the biggest. Maybe, maybe they have a free option and they have ads and. I, I don't know. Like, this is such an interesting thing for me. Because are they going like, to have Sessler back? <laughs> are, are they bringing Sarah Underwood back to uh, attack the show? No, Olivia Munn is that. Olivia Munn is more believable, but yeah, like it's it's such a strange thing Kevin Pereira, to bring like, back I, in in such a time that we live in right now, where nobody's really watching TV like they used to. Yeah, and that's why I was like, I don't. If they're coming back to TV, that seems like a bad idea yeah let me yeah, look up adam sessler real quick g4 let's see if he said anything my computer's having a hard time Hold on. uh okay bye-bye so i can't repeat words okay uh yeah uh it, it's not saying anything here about like adam sessler adam sessler did not say a word about G4 news, maybe. Oh. All right. What did he say? Sessler has not addressed any of this. Hmm. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if you could have like X play with, without Sessler, you know? And like, I don't know if you could have attack of the show without Kevin Pereira, you know, like, right. Maybe you could. I mean, you get like Greg Miller with like, I don't want Greg Miller on there. (laughs) No. Greg Miller's on too many, too much shit, and I, I just don't like his face. But, uh, 
<laughs> but if just, you want to come on the show, Greg, come Greg, on. Greg, come on the show. We would love to have you, but also You're annoying. I want to pun- punch you in the dome. But also, but also we could be friends if you want. We, we could. Like I don't know you as a person. Come on the show. Let me get to know you. Yeah, do a you know? deep dive. Let's do that. Yeah, let's I, I'll, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. G4, I don't know what it's going to mean. I'm sure we will find out more. Yeah. Um it's it's very interesting. It's very interesting. Like cuz what a what a time to come back as a yeah, I don't know if it's going to be a TV thing. That's why it says ellipses somehow. Some, somehow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good writing on uh, Suzanne <laughs> below. But uh, so, uh, yeah, that's the show. Uh, what to look yeah. forward to next week? I don't know. Nothing's happening. There's nothing's happening. So we'll find something to talk about. I'm sure maybe, something will come out. Maybe we'll we'll at least talk about what we've been playing. Maybe we'll just talk to- about. What you and what to play look, for an hour. What to look forward to next week. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, this week's question. I got it. I got it. This week's question is what do you think will change? What, all right. Let me, let me word this. Will the G4 return change anything for the gaming industry? Do you think that it has a place in the world that we live in with all the streaming services, all this YouTube, all the, you know, nobody's watching anything. Everybody's watching shit on, a, on streaming service. Nobody's watching cable television. Do you think that will change anything in the gaming industry? Do you think it will popularize it even more? Or do you think it'll just be a freaking flop? Do you think it'll just come out and people be like, yeah, I'm not watching that. And then it'll just be over. That's, that's the question. That's kind of a, a long winded Long-winded question, but, you know. Answer that question in the comments. We will read the comments. We will. All, every single comment that gets put on the show, I guarantee you, <laughs> Austin. <that. laughs> We're looking at you, Austin. <laughs> We're looking at you, Austin. If you comment on this video, we will read your comment out loud on the show. Uh, so check out the Jake and Corey show every Monday. Check out our Twitter accounts. Mine is emergency pizza underscore. Nick's is fatal underscore microwave. Yep. Um, and then come on over to the Twitch channel every once in a while. I haven't streamed in a while, but uh, you know, you never know. That's why you should follow me on Twitter because I tweet it. Tweets it. Tweets it. Follow me. And I will retweet it. So if you follow me and you miss him tweeting it, I will retweet it. Also, and you, should, you can go to it. You should follow me now because you'll never know when I'll cancel myself. All right, we'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.